A tilt ball switch is a kind of mechanical switch used as a very low cost orientation sensor. It's binary, just measures whether it's tilting one direction or the next. It's literally a ball in a tube that can make contact with some electrical leads. If we look here, I've wired up a sample circuit with the tilt ball switch from the kit on the end of some uh, long male female jumpers. I can zoom in there for just a moment. And you see that the switch itself is about a centimeter long, it's black, it has two wires. And if you shake it, there's a little rattle as the ball inside moves around. When it's upside down, the leads are on the top, the ball falls into the, into the, into the front of it, the cap of it essentially, and doesn't make contact. When the leads are on the bottom side, the ball falls back down on top of the leads, and there's some metallization in there which makes contact, and then it, it, it conducts. So it's a single pole, single throw switch. So in this sample circuit, I've wired it up with a 10K pull-up resistor that's over here to plus five, and I'm using it on a digital input. I've also included the passive buzzer, which is like a little speaker um, as, as an output just for testing. There's two buzzers in the kit. One is active that you give it five volts and it makes a tone. The passive one's more like a speaker. They're pretty similar, but in mine, the passive one has a subtle groove around the side and the active one has a sticker on top that seals it for soldering and washing. So uh, I'm going down to a kind of a throwaway Arduino sketch. Uh, it just reads the input, it uh, makes a tone or not, and prints out some values. I'm going to upload that into my Arduino, and then I'm going to bring up the serial monitor so we can sort of see the values. So the serial is just printing out a long series of ones. Um, the pull-up resistor is currently pulling the digital input high. If I now tilt the switch, I'll see it go to zero, and I'll hear the tone that's generated. I'm going to switch to the, to the plotter to get a better visualization of that signal. This is running about as fast as it can. The slowest thing is the serial output, but it's only sending out one character per sample. So now I have the plotter, and as I tilt it, the thing to notice mostly is it's not a clean transition. There's some little hash, right, especially right there on the boundary, where the ball can kind of bounce very subtly in contact with the metal, and it's literally called switch bounce that the state can transition from conducting to non-conducting over very short time scales. So if you're really trying to do this uh, and get a reliable estimate of, of, of switch input, it's important to take several measurements and wait for the switch to have firmly settled into a new state before registering a change. If you see that side by side, you can see is here, uh, cap down, uh, no signal, wires down, I get the tone and there's a signal. And if I basically put it in the middle there, kind of shake it, I'll get some kind of variation. So it's a very low cost way to measure some kind of change of, of orientation or maybe a vibration. Um, they're extremely low cost. They're using toys all the time to get kind of very basic behaviors.